Do you know that Google significantly increased its requirements to the website page speed? Let's discuss how to grow it for your website. Hello everybody, my name is Eugene and today I'm going to discuss with you the website PageSpeed and its impact on your SEO ranking. Let's start with discussing why PageSpeed is so important. Search engines as Google don't understand that you have an amazing business. They treat your business by the indicators of your website, including the website page speed. Do you know that users are waiting only 3 seconds on average before leaving your website? Before, many years ago, it was 5-6 seconds, but nowadays they are clicking and they want to get an immediate response. As you already know, Google is doing its best to increase the website user experience and that's why they are increasing continuously the requirements about the website speed to fit the requirements of users that are using the search engine. Now let's discuss how you can check your website speed and the issues that you have. Start with checking your Google Search Console. Google Search Console is a tool that will allow you to see from Google point of view what are the main issues of your website, including the website speed. Two main indicators that Google Search Console will show you will be FCP and LCP. FCP is the first content page tool, means the uploading speed of your first content, and LCP is the last content page tool, means the last content that will be uploaded on your page and the delays that you will have for this content. You can have three different levels of LCP and LCP. Green, that means your LCP or FCP is good. Yellow, it's average and you need to improve it. And red, it's bad and you need to act immediately because you can be penalized by Google. What can happen with your website ranking, with your SEO ranking, if you have red, critical LCP or FCP? Google can just delete your pages from index and so you will not get any positions, you will not appear on Google at all. The second tool, which is even more important than Google Search Console, is called Google PageSpeed Insight. This tool will not only show you the issues that you have, it will give you details about how you can fix them. Google PageSpeed Insight will show your usability ranking both on mobile and PC and you will have all the details about how you can fix your mobile and PC issues to increase your ranking, including the website speed. Please pay attention that mobile usability, mobile indexing is a priority now. Google has mobile first indexing principle that means that you need to fix your mobile version first and only then fix all issues on your PC version. So we already discussed FCP and LCP and Google PageSpeed Insight will show you how you can fix all these issues from two main points of view. First of all, how you can fix it from the code side and secondly, how you can fix it from the content plugins and like front end side. From the code point of view, the first thing that you need to make is to send the report from your Google PageSpeed Insight to your developer with the issues that you have in order to minimize CSS, JavaScript, disable some plugins to increase your website speed and to get higher usability of your website. From the content point of view, the main issues that you will face will be images. Sometimes your images will be bigger than the frames, the boxes that you have on your website. So Google will penalize you for that because it needs to upload images that are bigger than needed. The second thing that you need to consider about images is using WebP instead of GPG and PNG. That will dramatically increase your website speed. The GPG and PNG are all formats that are not allowed now by Google and they are decreasing your website speed and decreasing your ranking for Google and other search engines. We in WebGoogle have a special offer for you. We can analyze and create a detailed plan of increasing your website page speed that will help you to rank higher on Google. Don't miss your chance and feel the difference with WebGoogle.